o'clock. We kind of slept from four and got woken, <laughs> maybe, got woken up by music and trains. <laughs> Uh, I was actually a little bit cool last night, which is the first time since we've been in India. And um, we've heard people talking outside, so we think there's some other workaways that are here as well, who feel like we ought to get up and go out. Um, first impressions of this place in the daylight, actually looking out the window, is it's beautiful. It's really lovely. Looking forward to something. <laughs> we don't know what's going to go on today, so let's go and find out. So I haven't met Barnabas yet, but we've had a nice cup of tea and a watermelon with the all right, five other worker weighers who are all lovely and have been trying to work out what the best plan of attack is. This place is huge and quite overrun as a jungle and it's a case of where to start. And it's a bit hard to get our heads around without having had a conversation with Barnabas, but I reckon he needs a 10-year plan for this thing and needs to invest a lot of money. So, yeah, we're just having an explore at the moment. The others have all gone off to kind of start doing some stuff, mainly around the composting, I think, uh, and permaculture. And, yeah, we're just working out what the hell this place is about and what we might need to do. So we've walked to the top of the property. It's quite a long way. There's a lot of buildings. Uh, a lot of disrepair, a lot of bird poop, a lot of places that need cleaning and painting and gardening around it to make this. There's a lot of work here and it fills me with dread. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I just, it's interesting walking around here, but I think you have to ignore this whole section. It needs to prioritise. Like, it would be amazing. I think I can imagine this filled with kids and people doing you know sport and you know classes and laughter and everything but I just think that is in the past and in the far distant future it's just like yeah needs a lot of money. This place is big uh, apparently used to be 60, 60 teachers here um, lots of staff rooms lots of buildings and um, you can imagine uh, this place teeming with kids but now in disrepair it's like as if you just let the jungle go to Hagley. It's, uh, it's quite depressing. I've done the whole of the campus and we get to do the farmy side of things. So the guy who was here before, the first volunteer, uh, he did all these terraces apparently. Which looks three terraces and uh, there's a bit of gardening involved in there. do a video before the sun goes down. It's the end of our first day and it's been interesting. Yeah, really interesting. Um, Chris started off this morning quite despondent and overwhelmed, but this afternoon had time to go into the forest, collect wood, chop down coconuts, and he's built a fire, so he is A-OK. -okay. Uh, my task seems to be a mammoth one because essentially the couple who are running this place seem to think the answer all lies in marketing and I am therefore going to help them out with that. Anyway, um, it's beautiful here. It is dusk, I'm not even sure what time it is. Uh, the rest of the clan are back in the kitchen cooking. So we are responsible for cooking breakfast and uh, dinner and the local ladies give us lunch, which was rice and um, some curry sauce chutney thing uh, which is lovely um, I've just walked up here uh, and um, walked past a lady who was walking uphill with a bucket perfectly positioned on the top of her head and I said hello and uh, just made me laugh because she looked at me as much as I looked at her we were like god you're really interesting and you're really different anyway we never quite made it up the hill for um, sunset today but that's okay. I just came out for a walk because I need to get my step count up. <laughs> I did go into the forest again where all the school um, buildings are 
but I got scared by the monkeys. So anyway, I came back, so I didn't do as much walking as Chris. Anyway, tomorrow is another day, but I'm looking forward to seeing what my tea is. Time for an early morning run before the sun gets up. Going all the way uphill to that place on the top there with the mast. Hopefully get a good view before the sun arrives. Great boulders and rocks up here. Awesome. We made it. down now to the 8 o'clock meeting. It's 10 to 8. I'm going to be late. Going for a walk. We've worked hard today while well, my brain aches after having spoken to Barnabas for a couple of hours and uh, yeah we come for a walk and it is stunning. Yeah it's beautiful. It's really nice around here and the light is really nice. Chris has helped a little boy with his uh, bicycle pumping because his wheel was flat. Uh, we've just come up here. We were looking for the way up to the big rocks but at the moment we're just enjoying walking through the forest. I uh, met a guy who said don't go here after seven o'clock because that's when the wild animals come out so we will make sure we're back by then and uh, we're having a, quite a nice time really. We're just mellowing out and enjoying where we are. So let's get some beans. Yeah, how much beans? 40. 40 for one kilo. Yeah. Just getting some help from the local school kids, I think, for us to be able to. <laughs> it's a video. It's a video, yeah. <laughs> to help us with our shopping. Done the shopping, and now we're all jammed into a tuk tuk with Joe hanging out the window. I don't think that's going to be a very really good video. There's the shopping. <laughs> something like it reminds me of a simple time day four uh, day four and um, we uh, talked to Barnabas today about the power and uh, it's not on and we said oh the power's not on and he goes oh well oh yeah it's the, it's the day the power isn't on so um, Saturday they shut it down yeah uh, so they can save power they save power on a Saturday but not for the government to or the people at work on Monday to Friday yeah. so no power, no internet. It's a good thing to know. <laughs> so it's uh, Saturday afternoon and we're going for a walk up the hill, hopefully to the big triangular rock. This is Joe. Hello. And Helen's over by the way and say things. The track goes up from here. Hopefully we'll get there. Yesterday we walked up this uh, goat track and I thought at the top of the hill you could maybe get from the top to the goat track and then down again. Anyway, turns out that's not the case and uh, we went through a place that's been burnt by fire 
and then lots of green new growth which are scraggly branches and spend half an hour 35 minutes going down and back up again to where we were to start with and now we've come down in the dark and it is it's half past seven and uh, Joe should have been making dinner ready for six o'clock so he's not lost the lost the marble <laughs> Possession there, he's got a bag for The picture of your absorbing lake and the reality of your absorbing lake. <laughs> to have gained a dog today. Lots, lots more. Bit of a different morning this morning. Mist rolling over the tops of this rock. It's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna go back down this gully and try and find my hat that I lost. I need my hat, it's too hot otherwise. Fingers crossed. Whew. Well, luckily it's only t hot at the top. The rest of it's in shade because we're still in mist down there, which means I haven't got much of a view, but frankly, I'm quite pleased. Made it. Wasn't really expecting to make it up here today. I was going for a walk out the back of the village. But anyway, I've got up to Prayer Rock, which is at the back of our work away. And uh, it's peaceful apart from the sound of the birds and I can hear the gentle lifting of the voices from the valley below and it's coming up to places like this that kind of makes this work away worthwhile and is slightly at the moment out balancing the fact we've got a rat in our room and the room in between our bedroom and the bathroom has got a big leak in it so the floor's flooded but apart from that um, yeah I like it up here so quiet compared to India down in the valley. But can you believe uphill like this? I've only done 3,820 odd steps, which is disgusting. I was hoping to crack a thousand, 10,000 just by walking up and down here this morning. Poof. Thank <laughs> you. 